never getting off track oh! Oh! Yo, how fragile is life? Yeah. This my hit right here. Life is so fragile. It's so fragile. Life is so fragile. It's so fragile. Life is so fragile. Life is so fragile. Living every day like it doesn't even matter. Now I'm in this bitch like who that kid? Oh wait, it's YouTube lit. How he produce that shit? Wait, I don't really get all the things he does. He can't keep up with us. That's what I tell my subs. Hit my Drake flow, been patient, I still wait though Airplane mode, we on the way though What's up? Yeah, I just made that that last night I didn't make it, I mean it's not like made yet But I just started it last night I love making raps, man If I hear a beat and find the flow, it's so much fun Anyway, I wanted to put that little sample in Because when I finish it in about two decades You'll see the start of it And it's pretty cool, that's my favorite thing to do that's one of my favorite things about YouTube is showing the progress as my whole video is, my whole YouTube channel is about. Uh, that's why I have 900 videos. Um, speaking of progress videos, I think I'm going to make a video about, um, welcome to Dunk Life Daily, where I, I suck you in with the dunks and you stay for me. <laughs> What's up? 53, I think we're on. Holy shit. Uh, I got to push this button so I have my sound effects as well. Hold on. Give me one pause break. And that's what we're doing. So, um, yeah, so... I wanted to make a video about uh, my journey from 30 to 40 inches. That journey was kind of quick. It was kind of natural. I think I'll, t I'll explain in that video. And then my journey to 40 to 42 inches is fucking years, like four years. There's a lot of injuries, a lot of different details. So I'd, I'd really be curious if you're interested in seeing that. Um, probably going to make it just a compilation of my journey videos and try to explain what I did well and what I did wrong, my plants, different things like that. And uh, yeah, uh, it's not my favorite video to make because it's hard for me to stay structured, but maybe I'll make, I'll just have to make fun. Whoa, make, have, wow, have fun with it and just kind of talk about my journey, what I learned and just, you know, do my strengths. I'm not that detailed of like, this is what I did. This is because during my journey, I'm fucking all over the place. Imagine my mind trying to stick to a schedule of training. And then when I have psychosis and I wake up one day, it's like, okay, I feel kind of good. Do I wait till tomorrow? But if I wait, if I push it today, then maybe tomorrow is even better than today. But if I push it today and I feel it, then I'll understand that tomorrow. That goes through my head the second I wake up. So when I'm dunk training and you can't, you can't put a physical, visual, tangible outcome on how you're feeling, it's really, it was really hard for me to do it. That's why I'm so big on body awareness now and mental awareness because without it, I can't make progress because that's how I work. It's, it's, it's not easy for me to not have numbers like with weight training it's easy to get strong it's easy to get big you see it happen you feel it you freaking just push up numbers but with jump training it's like what's my central nervous system like am i fried am i jumping too much it's really tough to tell speaking of that i want to stand right now because it's actually hurts to sit on my hamstring hamstring's not really getting better yet it's only been exactly a week i stopped jumping monday it's still sore I might have pushed it too much swimming because even swimming is kicking. I'm doing isos. Isometrics feel good on it. Um, even baby isometrics. I'm going to make a post about that. I can't even do like a regular reverse plank. I think I talked about this yesterday, but um, I'm doing that. So we'll see. I got to give it time. I got to think long term. It's really tough because I don't want to lose my bounds because I'm jumping my best, but it's what I got to do. Um, I'd rather, I'd rather go down a little bit and then in six months to a year jump higher than now than in six months to a year not even make any progress and just be mediocre jumping this whole time. Even though my mediocre jumping is really good and I might be able to catch somebody's friggin' life and end it, um, that's kind of what I want to do. Oh my God, by the way, speaking of that, random out of nowhere, I'm going to do a dunk of the day. This guy's dunk, I'm going to watch it here so I could watch it live. Um, his name's McGee. He had two. He had two friggin' dis disgusting bodies. Just absolutely bodies. I, for, I forget where I saved it. I think it might have been uh, Dunkademics. Where is it? Um, he just took off down the lane. I don't know how tall he is, but this man does not know what he's doing with his own contortion. Here it is. I'm going to watch it right now. Okay. Um, come on, play, play, play. Come on, come on, come on. If you're watching the video. Oh, my God. He just, like, went two feet, one hand, right, left. On someone, direct middle contact, dunked it, hung on the rim, just unbelievable body. And then if you go to his page, I saw this this morning, it's on my story. He goes off one foot, McGee underscore 25. Mr. McGee, oh my God, I don't understand it. He went off one foot and elevated, kind of got a boost maybe from the guy jumping. But still, like the fact that he took off this picture right here 
Oh my God, if I'm showing it on the video podcast. It's unbelievable. Go check out that guy's page. You won't be disappointed. And that's what we do. That's what we do on the podcast. We kind of just go off with what we want. That's too hype for the morning. It's too hype for the morning. Before I saw that, what I was doing, I was having a very spiritual morning. Hurricane, hurricane is coming. Storm Dorian. is coming soon. Tonight, I think it's supposed to land tomorrow. I don't know. It's kind of missing us, but we're still going to get a lot of wind and rain. So these trees, these trees fell over in... In my, if you saw my story a long time ago, these trees fell over and damaged cars in a regular rainstorm. They're they're really tall, and I don't think they're that strong. They don't have a good foundation. They should have been training for years before they started to get that tall. Okay, they fall over the easiest breeze. Anyway, I got a new car. I can't have that happening, so I might have to leave. Anyway, the point is, I was like, man, these trees are so beautiful. I finally said, you know what? I got time today. I went to, out and snaps a few pictures. If you're watching the video podcast, I might put them up. I might not. Here they are. If they are, if they're not, they're not. And it was just nice. And then I come back home. I mean, I didn't do anything before that. Tried to stay off my phone. I like to stay off my phone in the mornings. What am I talking about? And that was it. And it's beautiful trees. It's a beautiful morning. The sun's shining. You got to remember that. Take it in, you know? That's me, though. I love being outside. It's just when you go from inside from air conditioning to like feeling the... I'm lucky in Florida. It's really warm. So when I go outside, I have no friggin' shirt on. And it's great. And I love that. And uh, it's just a beautiful day already. So I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And uh, that's it. I'm going to try to make some good videos coming soon. I think that progress video is something you guys will really like. Um, I have a lot of videos already on my YouTube. I don't know if I want to keep watering it down, but you see what I'm doing. You see what's happening. These people, you guys that are listening now are the ones that are seeing the ins and outs of my brain. Okay. You're seeing the ins and outs. The other thing about um, this podcast is that I'm, I'm, I really want to bring things that I enjoy, like coffee and CBD is another one. So I actually sneak peek. I don't even know if I should say this, but I might have my own line of CBD coming out. I'm working with somebody. Stay tuned. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. Anyway, I'm not a businessman. I'm a friggin' creative man. And I like music and I like comedy. And what's happening? What did I watch yesterday that was really good? Um, I don't know. That's it. I'm going to do on this day in history and get the fudge out of here. I want to make videos. I want to make really good videos for you guys. I really want to make that progress one because I think it's really important to see all the things I went through so you could learn from my experience because I learned a lot jumping with nobody in touch and then why did I was able to dunk left right off two hands off the dribble and then why did I not stick to that all those questions will be answered shortly today in history oh my god I almost forgot rabbit 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 happy first of September pay your rent let's get it um yeah that's good luck for you you're welcome I don't know what that means. Maybe we should look that up where it came from. I'm gonna look that up right now. Rabbit rabbit good luck. Let's see what I think you say it three times by the way. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit is a superstition found in Britain and North America when a person says or repeats the word rabbit, rabbits, and or white, white rabbits aloud upon waking on the first day of the month to ensure good luck for the rest of it. That's all it says. So it's just good luck. Ooh, this is why many people, including Franklin D. Roosevelt during his presidential campaign, would carry around a rabbit's foot as a good luck charm. But saying it before anything else on the first day of the month. Okay, I already said way too many words, but I mean, we, you guys can say it. So if you're listening to this and you haven't spoken a word yet, say it first. Uh, September 1st, 9, 1715, King Louis the friggin' 14th of France dies after a 72-year reign. Wow. European monarch. Today in film, 1954, Rear Window, directed by Alfred Hitchcock and starring James Stewart and Grace Kelly is released. I think Alfred Hitchcock is one of the... F- uh, forefathers of film. I want to know my film history better. Today in music, 1785, Mozart publishes Six String Quartet, Opus 10 in Vienna. 1972, American chess grandmaster Bobby Fischer beats Russian champion Boris Spassky. Iceland, most publicized world title match. What sport is this? Chess grandmaster, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, now the dunk liver of the day, boy. What's good? Yo, we're at 30.3K. Let's see. Uh, um, Mike Fuego says, I see the bars with a fire emoji. That's it. <laughs> Let's go. Um, this one's helping my brain right now. Aaron020. Dude, I love it when you just ran, ran. Wow. I love it when you just ramble about random shit. It's so funny. Thank you. All right. Now let's end it with some energy. Yo, take your headphones out. Run out the door. I, there's a hurricane coming here. Okay. We got a friggin'. There's a hurricane coming to me, but I still got to do stuff. Storm Dory. Coming to fucking take these trees. So I got to enjoy them when I can. I take before and after pictures. Do I go to the gym? Do I not? Use the most of your limbs. Use the most of your skin. Raise your brain. Go raise someone else's brain. Spread love. I'm reading a book called The Romantic 
the psychology of romantic love. I meant to mention that today. I'll mention it tomorrow. That's what it's about. I can't do it all today. I got to do some tomorrow. More videos coming. Let me see what you want. Let me know what you want to see. Let's fucking live, baby. We're doing it. Let's go. Keep it up. Make the most out of it because you don't even know. A hurricane can come out of nowhere out of the, out of the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf Sea, whatever, the storm, the heat, the current, all of that, the wind, out of nowhere, dude, and it blows your freaking house apart. So enjoy and be grateful. The frequency is the highest, so that way if you want to manifest your destiny, next thing you know, you're on this frequency up here. You're way up here, and you, nobody can even see you, and you're just up there fucking cruising. I hope my camera's still recording, because I don't even know what it is, because it stopped, it, it disconnected. Have a good one. I got to get out of here. Toodaloo! Life's still